I am Ronald de Witt. I am a medical oncologist at the Erasmus University Medical Center, Rotterdam, the Netherlands. And my key interest is the management of patients with uh, uh, genitourinary malignancies, bladder, prostate, testicular, and, and kidney cancer. Well, PSA is a reliable surrogate measure, but it doesn't always pick up the course of the disease. We know from uh, the pre-fill study uh, that tested enzalutamide in the pre cell uh, setting that one out of four patients actually had a radiographic progression preceding PSA progression. And in a post hoc analysis that we presented at the ESMO last year, um, this was a post hoc analysis using the database of TEX327, Venice, and Verstana. We learned that almost 50% of the patients uh, treated with the Texane had either clinical or radiographic disease progression preceding. PSA progression. So we need to continue regular imaging, especially in a patient who develops symptoms and not rely on PSA changes only. We, we know that some patients may benefit from retreatment with docetaxel because until we had cabacitaxel, abiraterone, and enzalutamide available, we had nothing else than retreatment with docetaxel. But there is no evidence of any survival benefit by retreatment. So you may have a PSA decrease, but they typically tend to be pretty brief. And Clinical benefit is not well reported. On the other hand, we know that agents like abiraterone and enzalutamide, as well as cabacitoxel, provide a survival benefit after treatment with docetaxel. So if a patient at what point of time relapses after docetaxel, I would choose, I, I would choose one of these compounds because these have provided survival benefit. We know from KTUC15 that tested the use of docetaxel in the castrate naive metastatic prostate cancer setting, that a retreatment with docetaxel wasn't really effective. So if a patient quickly relapse after the initiation of ADT and, and six cycles of docetaxel, my first choice would be cabacitoxel. And if there is more than 12 months between um, the, the initial management with ADT and, and six cycles of docetaxel uh, and the disease relapse, you may consider uh, a drug like abiraterone or ancelutamide. Well, the, 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 the main topic in my presentation is to present the data of the CART study. And the CART study uh, that we presented at the ESMO meeting last year uh, in Barcelona, and that has been uh, published now in the New England Journal of Medicine, is a randomized trial of cabacitoxel versus either abirazerone or ancelutamide in patients who have been treated with docetaxel and either abiraterone or ancelutamide. So it was a head-to-head -head comparison between cabacitoxel as a second-line texane and a crossover uh, between uh, the AR-targeted agents. A patient that had been treated with abiraterone was crossed over to ancelutamide and a patient who had been initially treated with ancelutamide was crossed over to abiraterone. The main result from that study was that there was a superior radiographic progression-free survival, as well as a overall survival benefit by the use of cabacitoxel. And I think that the study 
clearly shows that in patients who have been treated with docetaxel and one AR targeted agent, uh, it is by far better to use cabacitaxel as the next line of treatment rather than crossing over between AR targeted agents. And I think that is the key message in my presentation.